welcome back everybody welcome to the channel this is easy uh, today we're bringing you uh, one of our official guides been a while, been a long time since we've done any kind of guide this is a three-star attack strategy this is actually a bunch of uh, farm raids we did town hall 9 through 11 uh, we just have an assortment of different attacks that have been working really well for us so I wanted to put it out there for everyone to watch there's a lot of different techniques out there and um, after the last update, which has been a while since we've had an update now, it being uh, in the middle of February, towards the end of February, hadn't had the update since the beginning of the year, so got a lot of different attack strategies that are working well for people. This first one is done by Kenny, and this is an all baby dragon attack, and it was a pretty cool attack what he did. He, he you know, one of the one of the goals when you are out there resource hunting, when you're out there farming is to try to use as little resources as you can and get as, mu as much as you can for it. Here he uses the clan castle giants and then he uses the baby dragons and he does not have to use anything else. Uh, yes, it's an underdeveloped Town Hall 11, uh, pretty simple base, but at the same time it was loaded down with resources and he never had to use a rage, never had to use any of his spells at all. Uh, he just put in all the baby dragons and they went to work and they literally took the entire base. So. Whenever you have, so point number one, use the, find the right base for the troops you have. In this case here, he had a baby dragon army. He found the perfect base for the baby dragon army to use. And he didn't have to spend all of the extra uh, resources to, to burn all the spells. So great attack by Kenny. He didn't have to do a lot on, on this attack. He just basically just spawned a big line of baby dragons and they went to work for him. But that's okay. You don't have to make everything complicated and complex if you don't have to. So, good attack. Uh, nice Town Hall 11 attack. Didn't have to use the Warden. Didn't have to use the, the, the King. Didn't have the Queen available. And still got almost 1.2 million. Uh, didn't, get it, didn't get that much Dark Elixir, but he doesn't really need that much. Being up there in Town Hall 11, almost maxed out. So, this next attack was by Creeper. This is a Go La Loon attack. You'll notice that these are not, these farm attacks that we're doing, these are not really holding back. These are pretty much war attacks for the most part that we use farming. We, we do a lot of that in, in our clans because if you just use, like, let's say, Barch for farming, then you're not going to, your, your attack skills with your, with your war troops won't be as good as they should be. So go out there with, with some big armies. Here he went in with a specific... Uh, goals in mind with the golem and the small kill squad he wanted to go out he wanted to take out the archer queen he wanted to take out the clan castle troops he wanted to take out an air defense once he gets an air defense down then he starts the air portion of the raid he brings in a couple of lava hounds to tank for the balloons and then he uses, a, uses an assortment of spells to keep the balloons pushing through the base as fast as he can so great another great attack now one thing that he could have improved on even though he three stars and it is a great attack you always want to be mindful of where the air sweepers are whenever you're using balloons balloons are the most susceptible to the air sweepers uh, those air sweepers will push those balloons around worse than any other troop so you have to be very careful about where the air sweeper is always try to come in behind it and if you can't come in behind it if the base is built right you're going to put the air sweeper in a place where it's not a good strategy to come in from behind the air sweeper They'll, they'll put them in, in a place where that's where they want you to come in. Um, you know, they put an air sweeper in a corner of a base near the queen uh, to where the queen, you can't get to her and she'll come and take out a bunch of balloons if you put them in there. So you have to be mindful of of just starting off behind your the air sweepers. I hear a lot of people say that they always start their air attack from the behind the air sweepers. Uh, but you can take them out with one or two balloons maybe, or you can take them out with the heroes, take them out with the kill squad, but you do want to try to deal with those air sweepers. It's, it's an odd thing having to deal with that defense that doesn't do any damage, but it still affects the raid a lot. Great attack by Creeper, go La Loon. This next one is by Roop Dog. he's a Town Hall 11. Uh, this is the... I guess you call this the Max Bowler attack. There's a lot of different names for it. It's basically Bowlers and Valkyries, heroes. And what he'll do here is he clears out all the trash buildings on here on the bo bottom left side of the base. And what he wants to do is push all of the troops into the core of the base. That is the goal here. And 
I've seen good attacks, but he uses the, the ability perfectly. He actually gets all of the troops into the warden ability. So every troop that was on that was in the attack was actually invincible for a minute. And then once they all came out of that invincibility, that they all are in the core, I don't think he's lost a troop yet. So you, you want to talk about an amazing push into the base. At this point, he's got two-thirds of the base down. He, he may have lost 6-10% of his troops. And he's just marching straight towards the other side of the base. Uh, huge hit, over a million probably on this on this attack here. Uh, Six thousand, seven thousand dark elixir, so a big score for him. But what's even more impressive than the loot that he got was the way he managed to, to funnel those troops into the core of the base, and he kept them in the spells, kept the heal spell on him, kept the uh, the rage spell on him, kept the healers on him, and kept them alive well into the second half of the raid <coughs> now as we wrap up this attack from Roop Dog, the next couple of attacks are Town Hall 9 Laloon attacks and what you really have to pay attention with the Laloon attacks is what you do with the kill squad or what you do with your heroes before you drop the Laloon part of the raid in and these farm raids we're not really using a big kill squad where you kinda we're using the, the heroes and using a couple of baby dragons to to take care of at least one air defense and then take care of the clan castle troops so what we did in this one here is we put the the heroes up top and the goal is here to take care of that top air defense um, also we put the the clan castle giants down bottom you know, on the bottom right and the goal with that is for them to walk into the base and pull the clan castle troops out of the clan castle and then we're going to use the heroes to lure them over up to the top of the base and then kill them so as soon as the that air defense is down and then the clan castle troops are down We're using the baby dragons to assist the queen and the clan castle kill once the troops are down Then we can start the the air portion of the raid put a heal spell in, keep the baby dragons alive to help to Help them continue through the base and then we bring in the then you bring in the balloons bring in the lava hounds bring in the balloons uh, at this point here, I think the queen is still up. I'm not sure. I can't hardly see this uh, screen. It's so small. When we record this and then I, and then I do the playback, I'm looking at a real small screen here. But uh, you also, regardless of what's going on in this raid, you also want to try to make sure that queen is dead too. If she's not, then the goal is, if you're going to try to take care of the queen in mid-attack, you want her to lock onto the lava hounds. Because she'll get stuck in the lava hounds and she'll shoot at them for a while. And once she finally pops them, which you do want them to pop, you want all of them to pop during the raid. You don't want any lava hounds left at the end of the raid whole. Because they don't do enough damage to really clean up those buildings. You want them to pop and you want the pups out there. So uh, if you have to try to take care of the queen in mid attack, you want to send the lava hounds in first. And just wait a couple, maybe an extra second uh, on the balloons. So that way you're guaranteed for the queen to follow the lava hounds around and lock onto them. And then you use your spells, use your uh, use your poison spell on her, or use a, a rage spell for the for the pups to take care of that queen. In this next attack, the heroes are both being upgraded, so there are no heroes to have to deal with. So in this case here, you just have to deal with the clan castle troops and the air defenses before you start the air portion, the, the Laloon portion of the attack. So we started off the same way as we did in the attack with Too Easy. We put the king in the tank for the queen. Put the queen in to try to take out that air defense and see and see how far she can get into the base. And we put a couple of balloons in to take out some key defenses. And I'm going to put a couple of baby dragons in. Uh, baby dragons one on one will take out any one of the point defenses. One on one they take out a wizard tower. One on one they'll take out an archer tower. So they're great. Uh, they're great tools to funnel with, and they're also great tools to take out those key defenses. So it's really a good idea to to bring a baby dragon or two. Uh, I, at one point, before there were baby dragons, you know, you, you'd see a lot of minions in the minis. Uh, now that we have the baby dragons to choose from too, I, I like to bring a couple of baby dragons and cut back on the minis because they just have so much power uh, and they, they, the longevity they have compared to the minis is great. So again, in this attack, we bring in the Lava Hound. And we bring in the balloons behind the lava hound, and you you're using your timing as best as you can to try to make sure it's a very delicate it's a kind of a delicate process to make sure that the lava hound lives long enough to tank for the balloons, but doesn't live through the whole attack. 
So try to get that right every time. <laughs> this is why a lot of attacks fail. You see a lot of attacks, a lot of these Laloon attacks will fail because they follow the, the Lava Hounds immediately with the balloons and the balloons end up right behind the Lava Hounds taking out the air defenses and there's nothing strong enough to pop the Lava Hounds. So then at the end of the attack you're left with seven right balloons and two Lava Hounds that are whole instead of uh, five or six balloons and 15 or 16 pups which would easily clear out pretty much any base so so again you have to use your timing and you have to expect to try you have to expect those lava hounds to pop and uh, don't get worried when they start popping <laughs> don't go into panic mode when you see them pop because that's really what you want and I see a lot of people make this mistake where they try to protect those lava hounds so much that at the end of the raid they're all still up and that's not what you want okay and this last uh, this last raid of the video is by good guy I call him guy uh, he's a max town hall 11 he's one of the masterful players in our clan one of the heart and soul of the clan he uh, is attacking another max base he's coming in with a Laloon as well and he, you know town hall 9 we have a very similar strategy to town hall 11 uh, with with the Town Hall 11, he's going to drop all of his heroes, and he's going to try to get as much out of the heroes as he can by the, by means of going in, trying to take care of the, some of the point defenses, trying to take care. He drops some wall breakers so that heroes can get into the base, and now he's trying to get into that uh, pocket to where the air defense is and to where the, he can trip the clan castle troops. burning myself up with his heater over here <laughs> sorry about that yeah so he gets into that pocket he takes out the air defense and as soon as that air defense is down now there's only four air defenses left and he's not going to use the surgical strategy he's going to use the mass balloon strategy which is a really popular strategy in town hall 11 you see that done with a lot of different troops whether it be the bowlers whether it be the uh whether it be the mi it used to be the miners and now it's the balloons um, he uses the rage spell on the outside of the base to push him in towards the middle of the base and then he, he'll use uh, a free spell on the back end inferno tower or the back end eagle artillery depending on what's back there and he pushes the balloons through the core they get on the back side really quickly and take out everything in the core and now there's just a few defenses on the very back side of the base and these balloons they're not going to have too hard of a time they take out almost everything I think he may actually get the last balloon sniped out but he still has all of his heroes up and when you have level 45 heroes you can take out a couple of defenses with those heroes so you don't have to sweat that too much but a, a great job with the balloon portion of the attack he gets 99 percent of the base cleared out with the balloons and now uh, and, uh, and now he's got a healer on top of a queen that will come around and just clean up the rest of the base great attack uh, these are not easy attacks I know that there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are showing Laloon and you'll see a lot of three stars with them and if you don't do them yourself you may think wow this is easy you just have to drop balloons in and throw rage on top of them it's not like that these are very delicate fickle attacks and they take a lot of practice our clan has been practicing now for over a month and there's a lot of guys that still won't use it in war because it's not reliable enough for us quite yet it, it is the top attack in the game I think every single person that's Town Hall 8 and above should use it. We've had people argue the fact that in Town Hall 8 you should be using your level 3 dragons or your level 4 uh, hog riders. But believe it or not, those level 5 balloons are really stout even in Town Hall 8. At level 5, that you never used to be like that. So, great attack by Guy. Hope you enjoyed the video. We showed a couple of... Uh, all these. There's nothing really new about all these attacks. These are all been going around. This is no new stuff. But just different variations that we're out there farming with. And maybe you haven't seen one of them. Maybe you've seen them all and, and you just like the way we did one of them. Uh, either way, I appreciate everyone for staying till the end of the video. Like the video. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please sub to the channel. And until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.